Thank you. Well, indeed, the expectations to this summit were rather high. A lot of things have been put on that summit to be decided there and has been mentioned. Uh, the Eurozone reforms, and it would be high time because we've been having a Eurozone crisis kind of since 2010, so it's not really early. Also Brexit, and while it's a newer topic than 2010, it's also one with a very tight deadline just around the corner and a lot of problems to solve. And of course the migration issue um, that has been addressed already by many colleagues because we all know that the current Dublin rules don't work. We've been saying this for years here in the Parliament. We've been having proposals already for years about how to fix it, and it hasn't been getting better. We all know the pictures of overcrowded camps in Greece. We all know about the refugees living on streets in Italy. We all know this constant blame game between different countries, whichever it is at the moment. And this is all how outrageous how it's going. It's always countries trying to say, okay, we want the least refugees possible, so the only thing we can ever do is close the borders. But that is not a policy that we can do as European Union if we value anything of our own, if we stand at all to human rights that we tell other countries they should adhere to. So Dublin urgently needs to be reformed. This parliament has shown how it can be done. And the thing about this parliament is that we're not some sort of weird extraterritorial something parliament. We're the same parties, the same countries present here as are present in the Council, as are going to be present in the summit. So I wonder, why is it that we can do it, same countries, same parties, but we can come to an agreement? Why can't the heads of state and government do that? I really don't see any reason except for lack of political will, except for a lack of will to lead somewhere, to help people and to really go to the heart of the, of the matter. But without solidarity, our common European asylum policy is bound to fail. And member states are already engaged in this vicious circle of this deterrence and responsibility shifting. So yes, Italy, it's outrageous how you cannot follow the principle, the most basic humanitarian and sea law. But also Malta indeed didn't want to open its port for years already. From France we didn't hear anything, so I'm really thankful for Spain. But this cannot be uh, the only solution. Also other countries, we see in Austria, Denmark, Germany, everyone is closing their borders, everyone is setting on deterrence. So human rights have become a matter of campaigning in the European Union. We're doing politics. Pretty much all parties are doing politics on the back of those most vulnerable. And this is totally unacceptable, I think, um, in a European Union that's worth anything of what Mr. Timmermans has mentioned before. And it's also very interesting, of course, that the Austrian not yet presidency has told the Bulgarian presidency, oh, look, Dublin is dead. That's probably also quite unprecedented. And on the Eurozone reform, thank you also for reminding uh, us of that. It's urgent that we fix problems there. The problems are known. There are solutions on the table. And while we Greens don't agree with all the details of what Mr. Macron has put forward, at least there's someone who put proposals forward. So we should finally get somewhere. And the German government cannot hide any longer. They need to also get their act together and finally get real and offer something. Because this is something that really all member states should understand. They should not hide behind their what they call national interest. And actually it is in their national interest to have a strong and functioning European Union and a strong and functioning Eurozone. This is something that's of all of our interest. The world is turning less and less predictable. All the member states should be so happy that they have a reliable, a strong union that they're part of, a strong partnership that they're a part of. But they need to do something for it. And they might even need to pay a euro or two for it. But I think that is worth it. Thank you.